Hey everybody, welcome to the Tech for All channel. This is the best TV box I have reviewed so far in 2017, the Tanix TX9 Pro. Just amazing piece of hardware. Small, very shiny, very polished, excellent build quality and outstanding features. Right now TV boxes are a kind of in a transition phase where they're still roaming between desktop computers and somewhere between giving smartness to our TVs. But this Tanix model brings a lot of freshness to the product line. It comes out of the box with Android 7.1, which I've always believed is a kind of a disadvantage. Uh, it's, it's not a secret that I'm still quite a huge fan of the good old Android KitKat and even Jelly Bean, because by that time, those platforms were really open for, for us to change a lot of things. Having Groot was allowing us to do pretty much anything we like. Starting with Lollipop, Google started to be much more restrictive and right now we end up with a lot of struggles in case we want to do a kind of unlimited actions via root and even with root it's a kind of difficult nowadays. On the other side we can see plenty of great features and integration of marvelous new codecs which are letting us watch great quality videos with much smaller size. And that's why I liked this Tanix model. There's a lovely launcher and every single feature I actually used and loved from my Android KitKat Minix Neo X8H Plus. That's, that's a really long name. So I'm almost ready to abandon my old TV box in favor of this. I've been using this TV box for quite some time now and I'm overall delighted with the quality and performance that it provides. Uh, what I like most is that it uses the top end of the AM Logic 900 series and that's the S912 CPU which supports pretty much every codec that you would need for total media experience, including the VP9 by Google and the high efficiency video codec. I've tried to make a very thorough review of that device, so it's time for you to get to know the Tanix TX9 Pro. Tanix have recently released the new member of their TX series, the TX9 Pro. Throughout the years, the TX devices have been praised for their good build quality and high-end features offered. The latest model is no different. It actually has a lot of similarities with the hardware present in the TX8 Max. Powered by the AM Logic S912, you can count on the most advanced AM Logic 64-bit CPU, offering great speed and 8 cores. Actually, nowadays the CPU speed does not have that much of impact on TV boxes. What matters are the codecs supported. And this is where the S912 shines. Have you noticed how playing 4K videos on older TV boxes is a bit sluggish? or even some full HD X265 files, it is because the processors you have been playing through do not support protocols like the VP9, which is most popular through being used by YouTube, and the X265, also known as the High Efficiency Video Codec. The file formats based on these codecs offer outstanding quality at one-third of the size of a regular H.264 video with the same quality. You also get 3 gigs of DDR4 memory, and there's quite a step up for performance compared to DDR2 and DDR3. Wi-Fi is dual band, it's a Qualcomm chip, and even AC mode is supported. You also get Gigabit Ethernet, Bluetooth 4.1 and 32 gig eMMC. On the outside, that device shines too. Stylishly built, with reasonable size, a nice LED display on the front and elegant blue illumination on the top. We can see two USB ports, SPDIF, the LAN port, HDMI 2.0b and the power connector. On theory, it all sounds great so far. And at the price of only $60 as of October 2017, this is one of the best investments if you're looking to buy a new TV box. Let's see how theory relates to the real world usage. I was a bit skeptical because some TV boxes have disappointed me and some, well, they were just okay. 
With the TX9, it all felt great since the very beginning. Even the startup animation was something I liked. The launcher seems to be custom-made and, although I'm a huge novel launcher fan, I have to admit it might be a bit heavy, but it's the best launcher of a TV box I've ever used so far. Tidy, well-organized and very functional even if you use a non-air mouse. The thing staying behind TX TV Center is of course Kodi, and I will not turn this review into another Kodi review, just saying that there is an app which downloads Kodi plugins out of the box. The menu with the apps is just one click away, and after one more click, you have access to the settings. I was curious to test the Kill Apps feature, it is one of the very few bloat-like add-ons you get, and it just kills the apps in the background, something that I don't believe is important for a device with 3 gigs of RAM. As a person who always uses an air mouse, I had to be quite patient with the provided regular remotes. And my patience lasted like... 5 minutes. Typing on the keyboard made me switch to my favorite Minix Neo A2. Surprisingly, almost all of its buttons were working fine, just the recents and the properties buttons were swapped. Because the TV box comes with pre-installed YouTube for TV, I had to add the original mobile app, and surprisingly, this TV box authenticated with Google properly, and I can watch all available resolutions of each video. I'm saying all that because on some TV boxes you might be stuck with just 360p resolution when watching YouTube. Tanix have designed a nice settings panel, covering the features you most often need. Should you need more, then go to more settings. Should you need even more, then go to the second more settings option. The middle layer offers an easy to navigate smartphone-like settings menu, and the second more settings option sends you to the raw Android 7 settings. As you can see, this TV box runs close to stock Android. For playing multimedia, I can only say superlatives, nice, smooth, no shutters and no lags. Connectivity is also great, adding my Xiaomi Bluetooth gamepad was super easy, all controls were working as they should. Gaming with the TX9 Pro is amazing, Beach Buggy Racing is not a heavy game, it didn't lag even while I was recording at 1080p at the same time. Of course, it feels better if I don't keep the CPU busy with other tasks. To access the system recovery, the procedure is a bit different from what we usually do. Instead of pressing a pin residing on the box, we have to depress the menu button on the remote controller while the system is booting. This is one of the few TV boxes being shipped with integrated root. There is no app to control it, and my attempts to run SuperSU were unsuccessful. It says that the SuperSU binary is busy. Luckily, I found a working TWRP and I found a thread explaining that you have to always run it from the USB and decided not to try flashing it on the internal flash. Through the recovery, I was able to flash the SuperSU binary and it was detected by the root checker. Unfortunately, the app still isn't working. Anyhow, root is there and you can use it. Just be careful what kind of apps you run as there is no root prompt at all. Because my TV isn't 4K, I was unable to see how the TX9 performs when it is slightly more loaded, but my guess is that it is among the best 4K TV boxes you can find right now and certainly the best in its price range. That review was possible thanks to the courtesy of the Chinese wholesale website Gearbest.com. Everything you've seen so far is genuine and as honest as it can be. A link to purchase this item with a discount is available in the description below. Should you want to support the channel, then hit that like button and make sure to share it with your friends. Thanks for visiting me and I'll soon be back with more.